How to set goals to generate leads. This is the third video of a three-part training series of how to set sales goals and plan projects. If you haven't seen those two videos just yet, pause this video. I'm leaving the links in the description below. Go back and watch those two and come back to this video afterwards. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches, consultants, and digital entrepreneurs create a pipeline of qualified leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with evergreen systems and strategies so that you have a sustainable and scalable online marketing plan. In this video, we're specifically talking about how to set goals to generate more leads for our business. In the first video, we talked about how to set sales goals and the four types of projects we need to plan in order to achieve our sales goals. In the second video, we talked about how to reverse engineer our sales goals, how to set our conversion goals and lead nurturing goals. In this video, we're looking at the different lead generation strategies and different tactics that we can plan around our lead generation goals so that we can achieve our sales goals. When it comes to lead generation, in the first video, we touched up on uh, some of the strategies. And we also said strategies won't change, but the tactics will. So depending on what you're generating leads for, and depending on your niche, your ideal client, where you are in your business, all these strategies and tactics will convert at a different rate and a different pace. Let's quickly go over some of the lead generation strategies. We're going to divide our lead generation strategies into two, inbound and outbound. In the inbound, we have leads coming to us. In outbound strategies, we are going to find our leads. Right? Here are some of the most common lead generation strategies. Content marketing, which I talk about a lot. Pay-per-click, that's your paid ads. SEO, which is search engine optimization. Social media, retargeting ads, um, email marketing. And the most common outbound lead generation strategies are cold emails, cold calling, and DM engagement. So these are all gonna, again, convert at a different rate and a different pace, depending on your business. There's not one size fits all strategy. And depending on the strategy, also the tactics that will work for your business is gonna be different than everybody else's business. And that's why it's important to look at where you are in your business, your ideal clients, your niche, the market, and find a strategy and find the tactics that are gonna work the best for your business. Most of my clients complain about having to go through a different type of program or coaching or a course for a certain strategy with certain tactics and that it did not work for them. This is one of the things that entrepreneurs complain about a lot, where they took a course or been through some type of program or coaching that they tried the strategies and tactics and it didn't work. The reason why is because those were not really for their business. They were not strategies or tactics that are customized to their business and where they were in their journey. And that's why it's very important that you set your goals and align all the strategies together so that it actually makes a cohesive plan that works like a well-oiled machine. Now that we talked about these inbound and outbound lead generation strategies, I want you to look at the historical data in your business and think about which one of these strategies worked the best for you when it comes to 
getting on sales calls. What has been working for you? Was it content marketing? Was it ads? Was it um, DMs? Was it sending emails? Which one worked for you the best? If you have a new business, you haven't got many leads yet and you haven't been on many sales calls just yet, you'll need to work on outbound lead generation strategies. Now, if you don't have a business to business model, then I would definitely recommend you go with the DMs. Let's reverse engineer our lead generation goals by answering to these questions. Now that we know we're gonna DM 200 people a month in order to book 20 sales calls. I want you to answer to this question. Where will you go to find those cold leads who may be a potential client? Are you gonna go to a certain Facebook group? Are you gonna go on Google and find them? Are you gonna go on LinkedIn and find them? Are you gonna go to YouTube? Where will you go to find these leads? Next question I want you to answer is, how will you search for those leads? Meaning, what will you look for? Are you gonna be searching for a certain type of business? Are you gonna be searching for a certain title? Are you searching for a certain keyword like mom or coach or social media? Or are you looking for a certain demographics? How will you search to find the target audience that will become a potential client for you? Third question is your initiation process. Meaning, how will you even start the process? Now that you search for them and you think that they may be a good fit, are you gonna friend request them, follow them, connect with them, and then send a DM? Or what is your initiation process will be? Fourth, and one of the most important questions that you need to answer to is, how will you introduce yourself? Introduction is one of the most important things. And I need you to think of three things. Number one, that you need to come off authentic. People need to understand that this is a real conversation to give value, to exchange support. Number two is that it needs to explain what you do. And number three is how will you keep the conversation going? So all of these three components needs to be in your introduction in order for it to be effective because you wanna make sure that this is a real connection and you wanna make sure that you are gonna continue on this connection. And of course, you don't wanna sound salesy or inauthentic by just writing scripts from templates, right? You wanna make sure it's personal. Fifth question, what type of questions will you ask in order to learn about their pain point without repelling them? We said, what will you ask to learn about their pain point and keep the conversation going? But it's very important what type of questions you ask and how you ask these questions so that you don't come off as salesy and don't repel them. One of the biggest mistakes I see coaches make when it comes to DM engagement is asking the question of, what are you struggling with too soon? and two directly. And unfortunately, that ends the conversation because the lead knows that, oh, as soon as I tell you what I'm struggling with, you're gonna offer to help me with that and offer your services. So yes, we want to offer our services at some point, but we wanna first provide the value. We wanna first have a real personal engagement and understand what may help them. Question number six, what are you gonna offer them to get in your pipeline? What type of value will you provide to them so that they wanna keep in touch with you, so that they're interested in what you do? 
This is important. This could be a lead magnet. This could be a strategy call. This number seven is how will you follow up? When will you follow up? What will you say when you follow up? And the eighth question I need you to answer to is how will you offer to get on a sales call? Because not every conversation you start is gonna lead into you asking for a sales call every time, right? You may have to have a follow-up process. It's not gonna go like, hey, this is what I do. What are you struggling with? Let me help you with that and let's get on a sales call. Nobody wants that kind of a conversation, right? That's why even in your DM engagement, there needs to be a nurturing process with what you say and how you say it. And this whole process, the, all the questions that I asked for you to answer in order to um, set your lead generation goals is so that you are actually building a marketing funnel for yourself. This is a small funnel, a small process that you built in order to generate leads effectively every time. Now that you know which tactic works for you at each step of this process, you're gonna start increasing your conversion rate. And after a while, you're not gonna need to send as many DMs. You're not gonna need to get on as many sales calls because each step of the process has improved. Each step of the process conversion rate is now higher.